Hello and welcome to On Trending. The family of Diana Chepkemoi is pleading with the government to help bring their daughter back to Kenya. Diana is reportedly stuck in Saudi Arabia. Now, a relative on Twitter complained that Diana's condition is not good and the agent who facilitated her travel to the kingdom has been unable to assist them in bringing her back. Diana went to Saudi Arabia to look for greener pastures after suffering due to lack of school fees. She was a student at Meru University. Sadly, she faced the same fate as many ladies who go to work in the kingdom as house helps. She was mistreated and from photos shared on social media, she looks completely different and malnourished. Diana, who's from Kericho, was connected to her employer in Saudi Arabia by an agent based in Kisumu. Now, report shows that her health is getting worse, yet her employer has confiscated her passport and also refused to pay her. In addition, she was banned from using her phone and had to hide hers in order to communicate with her family back home. Diana has so far worked in Saudi Arabia for one and a half years. Her photos have gone viral on social media with many Kenyans commenting that the government needs to ban its citizens from traveling to work in Saudi Arabia to avoid more cases of young women being mistreated and others being brutally murdered. Alright, so now activist Mutemi Wakiyama stated she is unwell but still being forced to work. We need your help Kenya to bring her back home. The embassy has been informed and has been given the location and employer's phone number. All right, so now her agent from Kisumu by the name Susan Makungu, who runs an agency dubbed Makungu International, confirmed that she facilitated Chepkemoi to travel to Riyadh and she has tried to bring her back home but facing stiff resistance from her employer. Now, the agent lamented that she had gotten in touch with the Kenyan embassy in Saudi Arabia and her counterparts in Riyadh, who even involved the police, but Chepkemoi was not granted her freedom. Now, she added that the university student was sick and had not received proper medical treatment. Now, she said our team from the other side got in touch with the police who went to the house, but they could not get access to the employer. Even the police in the country are afraid of the family. We are being told that the family is well connected and influential people. When I last spoke to Diana, she told me that they were four house helps and this shows that the family is bigger and wealthy and has connections, thus complicating this case. I reached out to the embassy and I'm still awaiting their official communication. In 2021, Kenya's foreign ministry confirmed that 89 Kenyans, most of them domestic workers, lost their lives in Saudi Arabia. Saudi authorities told the Kenyan counterparts that most of the cases were related to heart attacks. Kenya admitted that it never conducted independent investigations into the issue. All right, so now agent Susan Makungu added that she was willing to purchase Chepkemoi's flight ticket once she is released. And we do hope that Diana will be brought back to Kenya safe and sound so that she can get the medical attention she needs. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and always remember to subscribe for the latest updates. Bye bye.